Hi everybody, happy Easter. It is Easter isn't it? Easter Monday. Didn't even know Easter Monday existed. I thought it was always on a Sunday. Uh, like, um, we won the war propaganda. But anyway, uh, I'm feeling a little bit sad, believe it or not. <laughs> Wondering about uh, one or two things. I have this on my wall. It's a bit of a small poster. I attended the Men's Rights, Men's Issues Conference last year. But the little twist to it, I suppose I'm thinking about my nearest and dearest, or the people who used to be, and how they never seem to know just looked up Elizabeth Blackwell, the first woman doctor, female doctor, and wrote a little comment on there. I noticed I was the only one who's written a comment on YouTube on one of those videos. A bit facetiously, I must admit. And about the sort of vibe you get from the opposite sex, unfortunately there's a lot of distrust between men and women, which I am... Um, uh, sincerely sorry about but there's also distrust between people anyway for one reason or another and people with damaged mental health imperceptibly damaged mental health and the sort of imperceptible prejudices based on gender which only you can only be sexist one way and not the other of course that theme again and how the, your nearest and dearest never truly care about why you might be undervalued why your relationships suffer or don't even begin and it can be working relationships as well not just romantic or everyday stranger that little bit more irritation and antagonism I'm going to say from a woman say rather than a man it's, it's that it's a specific gender related thing and that the people close to you or so few are curious about what it is that might be unjust about the way things are between the sexes from both both points of view and instead the, you may get the occasional mm, silence <laughs> a lot of silence but you may get the occasional yeah or even from a man I would have to agree she's the only one who, who says something like that occasionally is my own father and it's disingenuous it's false doesn't really give a shit about gender issues or political correctness or inequalities or Champion, championing inequality because it's kind of a good thing and it's always the way it is it's how we create ideas it's how we differentiate people we give it's how we give credit where it's due uh, someone else who makes videos John Collins said you know you're not you're not even equal as a, as a person not even equal at different times of the day it's quite a reassuring thing when you're trying to improve your self-esteem to say you're a human being not a human doing for that very reason you can't be too hard on yourself about what you can't do flat out at your best all the time you're an unequal being yourself at different times from one time to the next Was there anything else I wanted to say? <laughs> Might be nice to sleep properly. Uh, I've been looking into the Baha'i faith, my mother's faith, and how much certain people seem to think it's a cult. And uh, I'm quite inclined to agree with them. 
cults don't call themselves cults, of course, like even the Scientologists. The family is a cult. Good friends and their families are cults. Spouses are cults. Sometimes. Workplaces. But there's something just a little bit intolerant about their hypocrisy. We're gonna we're gonna unify the races. Lovely idea. Where have we heard that before? We're gonna be equal sexes. We're gonna use science with spirituality. We're going to end uh, violence and alcoholism. Um, largely dictated by Iranians who who are of the third world of course and don't really understand western culture and very much like to tell us how we should live but they don't even understand our expressions of speech and that they are rooted in centuries of fighting liberty or a sense of humour that makes uh, comedy out of tragedy and they don't like atheists they teach about all the different religions except for uh, you know a god is better than no god and their version of god is even better and nobody has the right to tell you what to believe but uh, our way is better times a hundred and they inflate the number of uh, followers they have around the world here's with five to six million people when you consider India as more than 1.3 billion Hindus certainly more than that, that many people <laughs> that's a godly number <laughs> an ungodly number that's several Hindu ungodly numbers uh, that look like various animals imagine if they kick off Anyway, my mum once gave me, uh, oh, I shouldn't harp on, harp on, should I? She, uh, they talk about unity between, got, got me Easter eggs when my dad said he wasn't going to get Easter eggs and then said, <laughs> I decided to do it. Not like, um, you know, she bad cop, good cop to herself. Or the other way around. That doesn't do anyone any favours, does it? So, splitting up families. Very unifying. As if they haven't got enough problems to begin with. Taking away our uh, usual annual rituals. Thankfully didn't actually happen so much. Maybe in my late 20s I was too old for Easter eggs. Not so all for lint bunnies. As I approach, as I'm just sort of just in my late thirties, <sighs> I'd rather have had Cadbury's.